Then number seven, a check of 500,000 paid to Arnold, a creditor, was correctly entered in the cash book, but credited to his account. Was done what? Was correctly entered in the cash book. Was correctly entered in the cash book. Candidates, accounting is very simple as long as you understand simple English. The question says that was correctly entered in the cash book. So that tells you this correction will not affect the cash book. Why? Because the cash book has no problem. It was correctly entered, but, but, credited to, to, to his account. But done what? Credited to his account. That tells you that is a problem. Arnold is a creditor. Creditor. This is creditor's account. When creditors are paid, which accounts are affected? One, creditor's account. Two, bank account. The cash book. So this cash book was correctly credited. This entry, this correction will not affect the bank account because there is no error that was made in the cash book. However, the creditor's account, we read here that the creditor's account was credited, but credited to his account. This account was credited. The amount is 500,000. When a creditor is paid, his account ought to be debited in order to reduce the credit balance. But the accountant made an error. In error, the accountant credited this account. So there is a problem in the creditor's account. So how do you correct that, that problem? You don't rub using a rubber, no. Neither should you cross it like that. You don't do that, all right? This error was made here. So to correct it, you just debit this account. This account is debited. So another question is, what or which is the corresponding credit entry? Which account will be credited? I had explained earlier. Where an error affects only one account, then the corresponding entry should be effected in the suspense account. So you have to ha open a suspense account. Now, since we are debiting this account, then the suspense account will be credited. So debit creditor's account, credit suspense account. 500. All right. So then, candidates, what we have done so far is to remove the error. The 500, what we have done here, we've removed the 500 from this account. And that error, by removing, does not lead to correction of the error. We now need to write the error. We need to make the right entry. The first entry was to do away with the error because this should not be in this book. So, another set of uh, transaction is to do the right thing. The, uh, the accountant did the wrong thing, so we first remove the 500, then we do the right thing. We make the correction. Was correctly entered, but credited to his account. Correctly entered, uh, but credited to his account. So we need to make the correction. The accountant credited this account instead of debiting. So what do we do? We debit this account 500. It's 500. 500. All right.
Then the corresponding entry, suspense account, 500. So this is suspense. And here we have, uh, this should be creditors. Creditors, creditors, corresponding entry, creditors, creditors. So you can see, to correct this error in total, we have debited the creditors account with 1000 this is the total then credited the suspense account 1000 the total remember this a uh, working to help you understand where i'm getting my entries so when i come to the general journal i'll not use the word creditors because that's not the language of the question the language of the question is accounts payable accounts Payable is also known as creditors account 1000, then suspense account 1000. This is to correct error of commission. That's error number eight, number seven.